contains pictures of sexual behavior and uh, the way people act sexually. Book. It can be in video. It can also be in statues. You know, sometimes you go to certain places, they have statues of people. You know a statue? Yeah. Like Bahamu Puma statue. There are some statues that are made in such a way that you, you think that uh, some people are trying to have sex and all that. So when we represent, <laughs> when we represent sexual behavior, when we say sexual behavior, the way people express themselves when it comes to sex, Mm -hmm. in books or video or magazines or any type of media that is pornography. So it's not just about there's a difference between somebody being nude. When you turn on, 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 on the television, right? You see that some people are dancing and they are wearing uh, small, small things and doing so, doing so many other things, right? That is not necessarily pornography. But when it, it, it is more of a sexual behavior, like hmm, there's nudity and there's pornography, right? So let's get, when I'm naked, it doesn't mean I'm pornographic, no. But the way I exhibit, the way I act, hmm, will lead to that pornography. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. So we've said that. When we represent sexual behavior in books, pictures, statues, motion pictures, and other media which is intended to, uh, 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 to cause sexual excitement, that is pornography. So when you represent these things in the books, somebody is watching and then the, the, the person's mind or the person is stimulated or stimulated to do something sexual. Mm -hmm. The person is stimulated to do something sexual, then we can say it is pornographic. Mm? When you watch those things in the books and it excites you or it triggers you that, okay, after watching your mind is making you sound I have to go and sleep with the boy. That is pornography. Is that okay? All right. So, some of the effects look at the effects of porn addiction. Lower relationship quality, increased risks. I'll explain all these things. I think we, we have it in there. So lower relationship quality. There are some people that are addicted to pornography. And because of that, they cannot do without it. And when we say addiction, what do we mean by addiction? Addiction. Addiction, yes. Like without it, you cannot would have you, you can only, yes. You cannot stop doing it. You cannot stop doing it, yes. You are attached. You cannot do without it. And addiction is always harmful. Mm -hmm. Addiction is a negative way. It's always, it will always lead to a negative consequence. So some people are addicted to alcohol. So every morning before you wake up, they, come, they will be knocking on the blue kiosk. That better she said, let's go. Uh, come and give me one quarter. Before they will be okay. Then before uh, uh, night will fall, you see that they are always drunk. They cannot do without their alcohol. So there are some people who are addicted to pornography, and because of that, it affects the quality of their relationship. You see, when they, they watch, there are different women and men having sex and all that. So their minds are filled with those things. Later in life, when they grow up, you see that they're comparing themselves, their partners, to the ones that they have in the books or video. And because of that, they, they will have issues. Mm -hmm. So it can lower the relationship quality. It can lower the relationship quality. It can also increase risk of infidelity. Somebody will marry one woman and say, oh, this is my wife, Gra. She's not like the one in the pornographic material I watch. Let me go for somebody that looks like her. So you'll be changing partners, moving from Koto and Amma to different, 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 different people. So infidelity, meaning that you are not faithful to one partner. You are not faithful. Hmm? And then financial issues or job, or job loss. How can pornography affect our job? How can pornography affect our job? In what way? I need to show up. Because 
we are addicted to pornographic things, we cannot go to work often. And like, uh, that is that is very very true. That is good. Some people spend all the nights watching pornography. Yes, read one. Is it read one? What's your name? Sean, Sean, Sean Freeman, right? Sean Freeman, yes. If you are the financial person in the job and they have given the money to the government, can you do that? Yes, so it can lead to financial issues. Some people, they will ask more money they have, they want to use it instead to, uh, of them to use their money to do something productive. They are using their, their money to buy data. And they are not using the data for code, you know. They will not use it to code it. That will bring something positive. Rather, what are they doing? They'll be watching, 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 but their whole night. They'll go to work the, the next day. They'll be sleeping. Then boss will come and say, hey, you are sleeping on the job. You are fired. Mm? You are fired. So it can lead to a lot of a lot of financial issues. Instead of you looking after your children, instead of you saving money, you are using it to buy pornographic materials and all that. And then having difficulty in sexual encounters. This is also another effect of pornography. Sex is part of human life. God created it. But the timing, the timing for sex is what matters. Mm -hmm. Sex is one of the things that God created. But the timing is what matters. So young people like you are not to be engaging in sexual activity because it is complicated. It is for people that are mature, okay? It is for people that are mature, people who are, who are married, like your parents, hmm? like your parents. So it is the time when you engage in pornography, sometimes you become so, some people don't even want to have any uh, 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 encounter or intimacy with their partners because they are comparing they are comparing their partners to the people in the pictures or in the videos. So they will not even want to uh, be with, with their wife or husband. And then the wife will be there or the husband will be there and they will be, they will be sad. They will be sad. So there can be difficulty in what? Sexual encounters. And some people also expect their partners to behave like the people in the video. And their partners too cannot do with that. You see, and it will bring a lot of difficulties. So negative impact on the intimate relationship. We've said all that. Okay, we'll be explaining. Okay, so pornographic, pornography addiction. That people that there are people who are into pornography, they can't stop it. They can't stop. They are attached to it. Let's see what that entails. So Pornography addiction is a behavioral addiction involving compulsive, repeated use of pornographic material until it causes serious negative consequences to one's physical, mental, social, and financial well-being. I'm happy about the fact that you know what an addiction is, that when you are addicted to something, you cannot stop it. And so people that are addicted to pornography, they cannot stop it. They are consistently, persistently watching porn materials. Mm -hmm. And these things will affect their minds. Mm -hmm. It's going to affect their physical. Sometimes it can affect their physical well-being or mental loss. There are some people, they, because they are into those things, they don't even want to mingle with other people. They are antisocial. They're antisocial because well, whilst others are learning coding and whilst others are going on a health walk, they are hidden in their room and pressing food. They are on phone side watching, watching. So pornography, the negative effect is so great. And as children, we all have what do away or abstain from it. So science, you know, when somebody is addicted to pornography, there are certain signs and symptoms that uh, the person exhibits. The first one, the person is always using porn in greater amounts or over long periods of time 
than intended. So the addiction, you cannot stop. You are attached. So every time, every time, when the mother is not there, the father is on the computer, on the phone, small chance they get. They are watching and watching and watching. You have a question? Okay. So trying to stop using porn, but not able to do it. They cannot stop. So some people, they, they, they desire that, okay, I want to stop this thing. I want to stop it, but I cannot. The next minute, I've gone on the internet watching. So that is also a sign that you are addicted. And then you also have difficulty controlling the use. Then using porn in situations that impose physical dangers. Using porn in situations that impose physical dangers. There are some people, as I said, it has to do with sexual behavior. And people that do pornography, they are trained in that area. They are movie actors. And you know acting is not real, right? Acting is not real. It's fake. There's a, there's a director, there's a cameraman and all that. And the porn actors, they are well versed in that. Somebody who is not a porn actor will, will want to practice what they are seeing on the TV. And that can also be very, very, very dangerous for that person. They may be the position or whatever the, 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 the person wants to copy. That can also be very dangerous. All right, then continuing to use phone, let's find negative effects on work or relationship. The person moves for a fact. You, want to, you have a question? Yeah. Yes. I'm saying that the first one that we see that like, some of them are porn actors. Yes. So does it mean those, those people are not if they are addicted, that is, they are addicted and they are actors and they are being paid for, for that. They are being paid for that for that. And they are adults, they are grown ups most of the time. They are grown ups, they are being they are being paid for, for for that. Okay, so it could be that they are addicted, but they do it also for the money, because they give them a lot of money for acting those things. But we know that in this world, there are a lot of negative behaviors that attract money. You know that? Yes. There are a lot of negative behaviors. There are people, girls who sleep with big, big, big men for money, but they don't think about the aftermath or the consequences, right? Mm -hmm. So people do a lot of negative things for money, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make it right. Okay, it doesn't make it right. Then continue use. So I said that some people they know, they know very well that pornography is bad. They know, but they can't stop it. They can't stop. We'll look at how such people can overcome uh, the porn addiction. So let's look at what causes it, this porn addiction. What causes it? So the first one is underlying mental conditions. There, you know, there are a lot of diseases in the world. You know that. Can you mention some of the diseases you know? Yes. What? Polio. HIV. HIV AIDS. Yes. Cholera. Mm -hmm. Very good. What? Lung diseases.